Hey Giga Chads, and welcome back. Uh, before I get into the video with Amr, quick channel announcement, I'm going to actually be doing systems design again soon, which is funny because I said I would never do it, or at least I wouldn't do it until there were substantial new topics to cover. But one thing in my life has changed, which is that I have recently acquired an Apple Pencil. So not only can I now draw very detailed dicks on an iPad, but more importantly, I can actually make a lot more detailed systems design videos with diagrams. That's kind of my eventual plan here, and my goal is to go into a little bit more depth than I've gone into in the past, explaining everything as well as I can, especially on those problem videos, and obviously this is going to require a lot of kind of refactoring or remaking videos on my part, but of course I wouldn't do this unless I was putting a lot more thought into the content of those videos, making sure that I'm explaining things much better. So yes, obviously I've spoken out against redundancy on my channel in the past, but I'm hoping that um, you know these will provide enough new content, or at least a better explanation, to the point that they're still useful for either you guys or potential new viewers in the future. Anyways, let's get into the actual video. Okay, cool. Uh, hey, Amr, welcome back. How's your day been? All good, all good. How are you? Good. Nice to see you again, and uh, hope the application's have been going well. I know it's Christmas time, so things are probably going to be going a little bit slowly. Yeah. But uh, I was taking a look at the spreadsheet, and it seems you've been doing a good job of getting those applications out. A couple of other companies have recently just started posting new grad roles i saw one for ramp saw one for flexport as well mm -hmm. so definitely some more options out there and you know the sign that they're being newly posted is good that they're definitely still looking so yeah, exactly. i've been checking out the page, like linkedin for new grad positions just checking online like every day perfect yeah awesome yeah, and it sounds like things are going well there. So the, the main thing I wanted to workshop today, and uh, you know we can talk about this a little bit more, is um, kind of just like, uh, the gist is behavioral interviews. So you mentioned that you wanted to work on this a little bit, and you and I kind of offline, you know, before uh, an Oracle screening that you had worked on a couple questions. So, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing how those have kind of gone for you. But more importantly, um, I added a couple other questions so that, you know, I can kind of put you on the spot a little bit and uh, you know, workshop you there and, and make sure that things are looking good for the most part in terms of behavioral interviews. Does that sound okay? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So just for um, all the other uh, people who might be watching this, just to reiterate to you, because I know I've kind of given you this lecture before, uh, one really quick thing to, to cover is kind of the traits of a good new grad engineer in terms of you know, what they should have and demonstrate during a behavioral interview. Like the point is you want to try and kind of like convey this during all your answers. And so the traits that I kind of came up with, there were basically five of them. One is just that you're like a friendly person, you're agreeable, easy to talk to, you know, not being a dick during the interviews happens to be my problem because I'm such <laughs> an alpha male. Um, and then you've got basically uh, intellectual curiosity and willingness to be challenged. Obviously, you want to learn and be pushed. Uh, willing to be coachable, but not just take advice blindly, right? If someone tells you to do something a certain way, you need to be able to question that and, you know, make sure that they're correct, look at both sides of the problem. Uh, the fourth thing is just being communicative, you know, when things are going wrong, letting people know early. And then the last thing is just being independent and willing to operate independently, but also not completely sticking to that, right? You can't uh, just totally stick to your guns if you're really in a hole and, you know, you're not sure exactly what to do. You always want to ask the other engineers on your team. Okay, Amr, so now I'm going to kind of put things on you right. and ask you a few different questions. We'll hear your answers, and then I'll, I'll try and uh, workshop them a little bit if there's anything to change. Yeah, sure. So the first one I want you to do is, you know, the, the typical question that you'll get during just about every interview, which is, tell me about yourself. All uh, right. Yeah, sure. Um, so, yeah, I graduated from university back in Egypt, where I studied uh, computer network engineering. And just right after that, I decided to get, let, I want to get more into software engineering. So I enrolled in a master's degree here uh, at FAU. And during this time, I was also working full time as a software engineer, first at a small uh, like software house, building like small web pages with the, like uh, content management systems and integrating, uh, creating online payment gateways and then after that I joined RSA security for six months where I mainly worked on the Jenkins uh, CI CD pipeline and s building some APIs um, then I moved to the US decided to like finish my master's degree and see if, see where I go from there awesome. yeah 
Really great. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, obviously we've worked on that answer, yeah. but I think it came out really well for you um, in terms of just being able to quickly convey, you know, you're studying CS now. Yeah. Here's a little bit of experience that I've had. Here's what I've worked on. And uh, I think that's, you know, really, really good for the most part. So let's move on to tell me about a problem that you struggled on. How did you resolve it? So perfect. So I guess one of the biggest problems that we had uh, when I worked at RSA is that it was the first experience for many, like many colleagues and myself working with uh, distributed systems, like large enterprise systems. And we were given, like, it was a new team uh, to be built in Egypt, like a new tech hub in Egypt. So all, all of the members were new, so no one really had that much experience with the, the system itself. So what we decided to do is that each member would take a certain part of the product, understand it really well, like narrow it down to like, a diagram or um, yeah like basically a diagram of what what are the main components of this like what are many the main subcomponents of this component and how they interact with each other and we basically just like did like a, a session where each one of us talked about their component and how it linked to other uh, like other members components which made things a little bit easier to understand because the system was pretty big, like the software was pretty huge, and having like having just to understand a small part at first, and then slowly building up was made it made things a lot easier. Sure, I think that's a pretty good answer, um, and I you know I like that you're kind of demonstrating the collaborativeness yeah. and the communicativity of yourself and the team. I think maybe the one slight thing that I would add is kind of the specific part that you studied there. Because you mentioned, you know, yeah. some massive um, enterprise piece of software, possibly spanning multiple nodes out of servers. And then, you know, I, I know for a fact, because I've looked at your resume, that you, you personally were working a lot on the integration pipeline. Yeah. But I think maybe then, uh, you know, you would just briefly mention, you know, certain people had other components, but I was mainly focused on the integration pipeline. And I, you know, learned about theirs through these presentations. Yeah, sure. All right. Cool. Okay, let's move on to question three. And so these are the three we've worked on, and the two I'll kind of have you uh, try and you know free ball it and see how it goes. Right. Um, okay, so question three. Tell me about a time where you were unable to meet a deadline. What did you do? Um, okay, so one time I was building the online payment gateway, and leading into the, the project, I didn't have any experience like integrating with uh, a bank directly like I've, I've used technologies like stripe and all that but dealing directly with the bank was a bit more difficult i guess and so like i, I had a, i had a deadline but i knew that this was not gonna i wasn't going to be able to reach the deadline so i immediately like talked to my senior engineers tell them about the situation I like I, I had like a list of steps that I did so far and what I thought was remaining and just just yeah just interact with them collaborate with them and see if they had any guidance in how to move forward cool yeah I think that's a really great answer I mean for starters just because you mentioned that you communicated early you mentioned that you were able to kind of break down a bigger problem into smaller steps to let them know an estimate of how long you had left. And you also used the buzzwords like collaborated, interacted with. So I think that one's really good. All right. Now I'm going to put you on the spot for two questions. Um, so, you know, if it doesn't come out perfect, yeah, no worries. Yeah, sure. And, you know, we'll work through it together and uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. So the first one, which I, you know, I've gotten a bunch of times before and it's hard to kind of work through this one, but you got it, is tell me about a time where you disagreed with someone in your team. Uh, how did you resolve it? You know, what did you say to them? Uh, ultimately, how did you kind of come out of the disagreement and you know get a, get over it? Um, so one time I had a disagreement with a colleague of mine about we had like a certain deadline. It wasn't too strict, and we know it wasn't too strict. So we had one of two options: either actually meeting the deadline and just working things like just getting a working solution, or just taking a step back. That's the approach that I wanted to do is like just taking a step back, 
like build some small feature that will help us in the future with future with the future projects help us a lot with future projects not just this project uh, specifically and since we knew that like that's where that's where the argument was whether we should just get it over with because that that's what this uh, like colleague of mine wanted to do just wanted to get this project over and i just wanted to take a step back build this feature that i wanted to build it was like a component of the like content management system that we used to build at the, the small company that I, that I worked at mm-hmm. and in the end we like we talked with our senior engineers and we decided to take my approach which would make like for this specific project it would delay the the deadline just a little bit but like in the bigger picture it was it was more beneficial for us. So, yeah. Sure. I think that's a really great answer, just because you, uh, you, know, you outlined kind of the thought process that you took. The one thing I would maybe add to this is, and, and you know, it may not even necessarily be completely true, but one thing that can always help here is just saying, like, you know, we wrote out the pros and cons of each solution and directly compared them. Because you just want to show that you're basically having a civilized yeah. debate, right? It's okay to disagree with people, but you just want to be able to say that you know, we disagreed, wrote out our reasons for disagreeing, and then, you know, kind of came together either with just ourselves or the help of someone more senior to figure out the solution. And you basically did say all of that. I'm just, you know, kind of making it really even more obvious for the interviewer so they can pick up on that. Okay, cool. Great job. Um, Last one. Tell me about a project that you're proud of. This is kind of your opportunity to speak to something, you know, technically challenging that you've done, you know, to show you you know, yeah. enjoy getting into the weeds. Yeah. Uh, so the, the project that I'm proud of the most is the freelance job that I did with uh, a couple of colleagues of mine, because for all of us, it was pretty much the first experience that we had. And we didn't know much about building apps, uh, like building anything, let, let alone apps. So it was like a big challenge for us to ask uh, how to even start building like what do we use for like the technologies should we use mm-hmm. like a separate ios and android should we use a native we we ended up using like react native for the the ui but it was like a kind of a learning experience for us because we didn't know anything back then about like how to build the backend server how to do this how to do that because all of us didn't really have like we didn't graduate with a CS degree. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good answer. Yeah. And, and you started to touch upon this, saying it's a learning experience. Yeah. But I think the one thing that could even make it slightly better is just saying that, you know, now when you do projects, um, you often find that, uh, you know, it's, it's easier because you kind of already had to struggle through that freelance work. And so you often find that the things you learned during then even help you now. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, you know, just, just something like that to throw in there to, to emphasize that you really still are using what you figured out during this through that struggle. But yeah, I think the, the two answers that I put you on the spot for were both really, really great and would, would fly over very well during an interview. Okay, so I think that as far as behavioral interviews go, this is a pretty comprehensive guide, yeah. at least for the new grad level. As you get more senior, um, you're going to have to start demonstrating more things like leadership principles, but at least for now, especially because I myself am not a senior, I don't really feel too qualified to talk about that on this channel. But yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed this, and uh, have a great day. We'll both speak to you soon.